Welcome back. So in this lesson, we are going to make any last final adjustments to our our cheese holes here, or you can add some more or take some away if you're not happy with them. Uh, but all we need to do is just kind of look around here, make sure we don't have any you know overhanging edges that are going to you know not be able to be 3D printed. Uh, an example of that is say we had you know something like if I uh, let's turn on my little widget here. If I had something like, like a, you know, one of these holes kind of like deep inside of the cheese wedge here, notice this little angle right here, this sharp point, that may be a little tricky for the 3D printer. Um, unless we use supports, you know, that wouldn't be a problem. But, um, you know, if it's kind of too steep, like, like that, it may be tricky for the 3D printer to start this point just kind of floating in midair. Uh, so, you know, just make any final tweaks to kind of soften that out. That way it's more of a, you know, a sphere shape and it's not like a, kind of like a sharp tooth hanging over um, into uh, midair there. So as long as everything is very spherical, uh, you know, the software is not going to have any issues uh, 3D printing. And notice here I've got this, I can kind of see inside of the geometry there and that's because we may need to nudge that one around so you know make look for anything like that any kind of just mathematical imperfections so i'm just going to nudge this one ever so slightly until it kind of closes up here there we go so you want it to look solid and that's going to help when we go to export this for printing and all these look pretty great so you know just take your time really look at your model and then once you're ready just click on your cheese wedge and we can go to our 3D printing toolbox. And if you don't have that turned on or it's not showing up for you here, just go into your preferences and type in 3D and make sure your mesh 3D print toolbox is checked and turned on. And then that way it'll appear. Um, make sure you have your cheese wedge selected and we can check all. And we have zero on everything, so that's great. And we'll just twiddle down our export. And there's a pathway here and we just need to tell Blender where we want this final uh, 3D print design file to end up. So just click your little folder. And I have this little STLs folder here. And we're just gonna say, you know, Blender, we want the files to land inside of this folder and hit accept. And then make sure your format is STL. And the file name is gonna be whatever you have it labeled right here. So ours is gonna be cheesewedge.stl um, with the project name before it. So it'll be cheesewedge-cheesewedge.stl and just hit export. And there we go. We've got our confirmation at the bottom. And now let's go ahead and slide over into our slicer of choice. So I'm using Simplify 3D here, but you can use any slicer you want. You can do Prusa, Slicer, or Cura, which are free and awesome. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and import, go to my SDLs folder and bring in our cheese wedge. And there we go. Looky there, an adorable 3D printable cheese wedge that we can slide under our door. Uh, let's go ahead and check our settings. So you want to do an infill of maybe like 20%. And for the layer, uh, maybe like a 0.2. And uh, that's pretty standard. And then your shells or your outer um, walls there, you can do two shells. And we don't need a raft. And we don't need supports because everything is following the Thoi theory. Um, but you can use a raft if you want. Uh, but I'm just going to go straight off the print bed and hit OK. Now let's prepare for print. And there we go. Less than an hour, we've got our first functional 3D printed prototype of a door wedge looking like a piece of cheese. So super simple, super fun, and hopefully you learned a lot about Boolean operations and how to get the results you want from Blender for 3D printing. And so let's scrub through this. It's always good practice to scrub through, make sure you're not getting any weird geometry. And so we've got a nice solid foundation here, and then everything's just going to just 3D print. It's all spherical, so we don't need any supports. And there we go. Everything looks good to me. So let's go ahead and print that thing. And we can send the G code. Um, essentially, the G code is just these layers of lines. And that's going to tell the printer, you know, what to do and, you know, how fast to do it and how much plastic to uh, use. So you can send it via USB if you have your printer plugged in. But I always just send the G-code file to like a little thumb drive and uh, take it to my printer like that. So we'll just click on that. 
and I have a G code folder here, and we can just call it Cheese Wedge G code. And I already had something there, so I'll just say yes, I want to replace it. And there we go, we'll send that to our printer and get to printing.